to have been left and Aspinall now not on a finish. All about what he can do to set it up here. This game's on a knife edge. Mickey could pinch this. And it would be great credit if he did. And that's a perfect 140. Just the right time to leave 44 for Aspinall. Which means now Mickey Mansell knows this has got to go. Missed a 120 earlier in the match. Aspinall can't watch. How lucky is he that he didn't flick the other side of the flight. 80. And why has oh. the tops for the match? That is... The first dart for the match in this contest. It's come the way of the man who came from behind, but Aspinall should get to himself now to steal this one away from Mickey's comeback. And he has done so, got over the line. <laughs> Top two will then go back to Alexandra Palace at the end of the year, so you're still in the frame for that. But Ian White's in the frame for round number two. If he can find 68 more points. Confirmed by our referee, Owen Binks. 18 for Bull. Got to get the 18 first. Was that a little greedy? 69. I'd always go for the big numbers. Just make sure you have that shot. Well, two double tops was the effort. I don't blame him for trying. But it looks like Ian White is going through to play Nathan Aspinall in round number two. Double four. Will rubber stamp his spot, and that's James exactly what he's done. Ian Six Watts. legs to one, and Darren Webster looks like he's making the tee for Jeff Smith and for Matt Campbell once again. I wouldn't blame Stephen Bunting for contemplating his exit right now, especially when Mikel is back in that 60. 100. He needs a big score, and he needs Mikel to have a meltdown. Sixty. He's muttering along to himself about what he's got to do. That task has got a little bit easier. It's a good single to leave tops. Sixty. He will return. His average will go down if he completes in six visits in this leg, but he won't care. 130. Because he will have disposed of the 18th seed if he finds double 10 once again. Game shot. There you have it. A 6 Ryan 2 victory Mikkel. for Ryan Mikkel. An excellent performance from him. Advice to Jeffrey would be get rid of this, otherwise, the bagel is calling. 11s, double 14. 107. Well, there have been little spells of Jeffrey Desvan looking pretty good in this game. But they've then come up against trying to win legs on the doubles, and that's where it's gone belly up. Gavlas, double 12. 32. Double top, even. <laughs> Sorry, I've had a Jose moment there. <laughs> well, Desvan is going for the right segment on the board. So he's not able to find it. Gavlas looking to find the back of the net this time for 6-0 to have a crack at Ryan Mikkel in the board semi. This board is opening up. And Game Gavlas Jordan does win by six Adam legs Gavlas. to nil. An all-German encounter going on over on board four between Martin Schindler and Florian Hempel. And the little man Shindy is laying down a marker. He's 5-0 up on Florian Hempel. Arguably the best German player in the world right now, Martin Schindler. Gabriel Clemens, of course, he's in action. He's two apiece with Nathan Rafferty. But is this one coming to an end? Darrell Gurney doesn't need to use the bullseye at the end of this, so he tried to get rid of it early. Double 10 will complete the job for a 6-3 victory and a spot in round three. That will do it. A nice 12 data to end things for Darrell Gurney. Well, he said he was feeling confident. I don't think there's a better example of it than that. Trouble 17 leaves tops for Nick Falwell just to save his skin or maybe just prolong the agony, but he can't do 36. either. And Scott Williams is going to get matched arts here for a 6-1 win, a relatively comprehensive one. <laughs> OK, fair enough. Double 11. Why not? Double-double. <laughs> 
There are things he did I don't understand, but he did them by choice. There are things he did there by accident, which I actually understand more. Scott Williams does win by six legs to one. Another in there. Leaves double top for Callan Rids for another. The 140 was threatened. The 142 was threatened. But when it comes to big checkouts, it's only Damon Etter who's hitting him. Single 20 leaves double 16. And can he once again illustrate his prowess at these combo finishes ending on that green bit in the bottom left? No, he can't. Game shot. Well, where is your money now? A 13 darter for Callan Rids makes it three breaks of throw on the spin. Three, six for Rids to end this. Double eight. One hundred and two. Match dart missed and Damon Hetter to produce the most magnificent shot of his already incredible weekend. Not going to happen. And more match darts are incoming for Callan Rids. The youngster from the northeast turns away because he knows he's returning. Fifty eight. And he only wants to throw one dart here. Game and one dart and is all it Callan takes. Rids. The winning run for Damon Hetter is brought to an end by the riot Callan Rids, who progresses to the last 16. Damon Hetter. I don't know how the bookies are all pricing this up, but you would think whoever wins this game will be the clear favourite for the title today. But on a topsy turvy weekend here in Barnsley, it's difficult to make any kind of prediction with any kind of certainty. Single 18, double 16. 70. And Johnny Clayton has missed far too many darts at double. And Michael Smith gets match darts here to seal a 6 2 victory. Game and that's exactly what he does. Back to back, 14 darters for the Bully Boy. The World Championship finalist, the UK Open finalist, is now quarter finalist at Players' Championship 6. And he is very likely the favourite to take the title today. However, do not rule out somebody else knocking him out because that 94 average and 28 and a half percent on doubles it's probably going to have to improve if he's to beat either jim or scott williams josh rock callan rids or martin schindler in the semi-final of the pdc winning his first title reaching his first major ranking semi-final in pdc darts he's got good memories of facing the diamond can he add to them here trying to stay in the 20s One, oh, 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 what a dart that is what a dart from Danny Nopper 16 for double 73 well the first two darts are absolutely fabulous for me and why but he couldn't follow up with a double and Danny Nopper gets a look at 1-2-4 for the second time in this match and this time he should get a dart he does it to the bullseye and he pins it, Danny Nopper. Great dart. Ton plus checkout to level the match up. He can't get to 105, surely. Oh, two bounce outs is absolutely disgusting. And he couldn't even get to a finish. Ian White might have 120 points on the floor in this leg. It's certainly 80. Another in there to leave double top. Throw it quick, Danny. <laughs> Match dart missed, but he will return. Ian White stranded on 165. Back-to-back -back visits of 120 for Ian White with a bounce out in each one in a must-win leg. There's been some excellence from both of these guys. It's been a heck of a contest. And just, I mean, gravity has done for Ian White as much as Danny Nopper. But the UK Open champion wants double 10 for a spot in the semis. And now he has to come all the way over to the left. It's an awkward angle. But not too awkward for Danny Nopper. The Dutch number two comes through that. Six legs to four, and we have our semi final lineup. It is the UK Open champion Danny Nopper looking for his third PDC title and his second in just a fortnight, while the other three, Ricky Evans, Jim Williams, and Martin Schindler, have. I'd be annoyed at that, Martin, that's for sure. 47. So. He's tied it up very well for tops if Jim 
Doesn't go out here, but needs double four for a break back. And double two, and he's moved the wire, but you've got to try and take opportunities. Well, he tried. You've got to take opportunities like that, haven't you? As tops is the target for Schindler, and that's a decent guide. Get yes, 3-0. Martin Schindler leads here. It's only the one break of throw, though, remember? So Schindler could hurt him here by hitting 72 and going within one. 52 left. And now it's double 16. 56. This has got to go, Jim. This has got to go. Now, one dart at tops. 40. It's getting very tense and very nervy up there. And Martin Schindler now has a golden opportunity to break and go within one leg of the final. Double eight the target for Martin Schindler. Double four. Huge moment. And he's Eight. just moved the wire outside. Jim takes a look. Can't believe it. He's got another opportunity at tops here. Got to take it, Jim. Got to take it. Get yes, sure. Jim Williams does take it with a second dart. It's five apiece. And we're down to a best. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Jim with the advantage of throw. Great stuff here. Room for another. Well, three successive 140s for Jim Williams. Gets him down to 81. Fantastic darts. Could be about to be a huge moment in Jim Williams' career. Unlucky for Martin Schindler. Now 81. Now double 12 for the match. And Game double 12, Jim match. Williams gets Jim it. Williams. And Jim Williams has overturned a 3-0 deficit uh, to get the better of Martin Schindler here in Barnsley. And uh, a momentous day for Jim Williams with that finish because he reaches his first final on the Pro Tour. And he's not got over the line in all four. Yes, it's... Um it's certainly something to consider when it comes to the mentality, if you like, of um, the approach to the game. What Ricky's got to do here is hold. He's going to be under the cosh from that maximum. So these kinds of numbers have to be popped. Bull. Game shot. Huge. Huge from Evans. And he needed a little confidence boost right there, and he's got one. And Travel 17 would have left tops. 50. We've just seen a bullseye checkered from Evans. Can we possibly get one from Williams to re-establish that two-leg cushion? Treble 18 leaves that bullseye. Go on, then. 99. Okay, now here's the chance for Rapid Ricky to level it back. Double 10. Game shot. Break a throw. Three apiece. Williams still retains the advantage. Yes, that 180, 96. what it did was keep his interest alive in the leg. Down to 69 with Jim on 115 here. 58 left, 18 for tops. For a 5-3 advantage, 70. and he's gone way too high. Maybe a few nerves, a bit of pressure creeping in here in this... Players' Championship final. Tops. Now tops, yeah. 49. Oh, it just it feels like he's throwing a bit too quickly. <laughs> That's just Ricky. Game tops shot. that time for Jim Williams. 5-3 leads. And there are chances being missed by Ricky here at key moments in the match. A little bit of daylight open. Just that one break of throw. The difference. Hugely significant result for Jim Williams if he was to see... The job through here. Bullseye. 74. Well, that would have absolutely destroyed Ricky Evans. But as it is, he's on 56. Tops for Ricky now. Double 10. This has got to go, Game and it shot. does. Oh, he kept his call superbly there. Williams sat on 47. It's 6-5.
thick atmospheres. This is like playing in a library, but this is possibly one of the biggest games of his career, if oh, not indeed. the biggest. Well, he was the star of the Sioux cam at the Alley Pally. What an idea that was. He's not short of ideas. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, I said that Evans needed something quite oh. majestic to give himself a chance of winning this final Ooh. from behind. That little bit of fortune might be big. Bull. Oh, Huge oh. from Ricky Evans. It's now 6-6. Six, six. It's best of three. And that little bit of firework activity on that bullseye to give himself leg 12 might just be the catalyst to give him the belief to win this one. Goodness me, what a turn. Those two trouble 19s, Ricky Evans, but Jim Williams with a 140 and a 180 looking to break back straight away and then throw for the match. 100. What a leg of darts from Jim Williams to bounce back here. He's on 81. 45. Ricky makes a huge error there. Oh, dear, Ricky. Didn't make the right play. Should have gone to the cover. And he's given Jim Williams six Game darts. Off. Not that he needed them, because that's three for a 12 darter. And now he has the chance to serve it. Out. In his career, he's hit the eight, so he needs double 12 for the match. 40. Oh, tops to take us in to a 15th and deciding leg, Paul Nicholson. What a let off. Take advantage of it, Ricky. Double 10. And it hasn't oh. come to his ear this time. Jim Williams now has what every dart player dreamed of when they woke up this morning. Three darts at a double to win it. Double six. Can he find it on double three? Ricky thinks it's in. Oh! He was wrong! Can you believe this? Can you believe it? Double five. Double two! Eight. Jim Williams is back! Well, this is agony, absolute agony. There's a title on the line. Double three up the board for one. And now for the title. And so we go on. Seven match darts missed. <laughs> At a plethora of different doubles. No score. Evans misses the madhouse. And that's exactly where Jim Williams will now knock on the door of. If he misses it, it's got to be high. But he doesn't miss it. Match. Welcome Jim to Williams. the winner's circle in the PDC, Jim Williams. It took your time to get through that door, but you have punched your ticket to your first win at senior level in the Professional Darts Corporation. It wasn't a classic final by any means, both averaging in the...